We are here for opening day of the new season with DeGroff Shop. We will be playing the Super Cup against last year's defending champions, Heronveen. It was a heck of a season, our best ever finish, second in the league. We will be going to Europe this year, so all in all, a great season last year. We've already taken a look at the season review and the early transfers, some big signings last episode. So today we're going to have some uh, final signings or some new signings to look at. I've still got a few uh, irons in the fire, and then we will have that match against Heronveen. Let's roll the intro and get down to business. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to Football Manager 21, and this is episode 56 of our DeGroff Shop Save. Again, a great season last year. We finished second in the league, and we hit transfers last episode. Don't forget, hit the like button if you like what you see and what I'm doing here on the channel. Subscribe if you're new, and, uh, you know, hey, make some comments below and you know hit the little notification bell because I do have daily football manager content here on the channel. So let's jump into transfers. Uh, we've got all the way up through David Weiss. Uh, we sold Mark Abdul to uh, Ridgeburg's boys for up to $100,000. And then we brought in Marcus Bumgartner for 2.6. So we'll take a look at him. He is a 22-year-old Austrian winger. Plays on the left side. He is left only two and a half star current, three star potential. Valued at five million, so I think we got value on him. Very well rounded. We were just looking to add some depth, and he's a squad player. Uh, so he will slot in on the left side. He can play the attacking left wing or the mid left, depending on which tactic. If we're going with the four, uh, the three, uh, four, one, two, or the four, two, four with attacking wingers. Uh, then we brought in Samal Demir from Rapid for $3.1 million. He's, he's the counterpoint here on the right side, three-star, maxed out, 22-year-old Romanian, valued at 3.9, very, very pacey, big crossing ability. So I do like him, uh, but again, squad player, he will be depth and challenging DeVos on that side. We brought in Michael on a free transfer. He's a 19-year-old Spaniard. Uh, two caps at the under-21 level for Spain. Four-star potential. We've signed him as a breakthrough prospect, and we've got him listed out for loan. Uh, just needs to develop a little bit. But again, just somebody that I thought was good enough, possibly, for the future. Then getting into some other outgoing moves, uh, a couple of loans, but we did have some big moves here. So I finally pulled the trigger on Geert Thielmans. Uh, he goes to FC Emmen, up to five and a quarter million. So we bid farewell to him. He just never did crack in. He is only 21, but you can see he's only a 46 rating by our scouts. And I just never, never saw him coming into the fold. Uh, the way I wanted him to. So we move him off and, and capitalize on him. Came up through our system, move him on for $4 million. So we do get a nice profit on him. Uh, Sonny Bouge, uh goes off for 74000 A couple of more loanies. Daniel Balzic goes off for 400000 And then we just sold Martin Cech. Uh, he goes to Den Haag. Or The Hague, I forget. Somebody told me how to pronounce it, and I forgot it. It's probably The Hague, but uh, it looks like Den Haag, so it's probably The Hague. Uh, so that's what we'll go with uh, with there. Uh, tell me again. I'll try to remember it. No guarantees. Uh, but you can see we bought him for 2.8 last season, and just uh, with some of the upgrades we made this year, uh, we move him out. We take a little bit of a hit. And uh, he never made one appearance for us, just never cracked in. And so we recoup our money, basically, and try to reinvest it. We just looked at some uh, Demir and Michael. Uh, we do have two loan players coming in. These were guys probably good enough to start for us. But because I'm looking at that 4-2-4 tactic again this year that we may mix in, uh, I needed some more fullbacks because last season we had moved a lot of those guys out. So we brought in uh, Sun, Yuan, Sun Wong, 
think that's right. Maybe. Just a guess, but Sun 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 Wu Yang, maybe. If you're if you're positive, let me know in the comments and I'll try. But it, I think it's Wu Yang, maybe. A four and a half star potential. Uh, but again, he's a left winger, and I think he's going to be a starter for us, <laughs> even though I got him down as a squad player. And Olivier Aldi from PSV, he comes in on loan in central midfield. Twenty caps for Hungary already. Three and a half star current ability. He looks real solid. Plus, he can play defense uh, in that midfield role. So I think he is going to really give us some an upgrade. Uh, he is signed as a regular starter. So that's what we've got going on right now. Uh, we do have offers out for a few more guys. Uh, want two loans and one transfer. Uh, you can see they're all relatively young, so mostly for the future. Nothing super pending here. Taking a look at the friendlies, you can see we have pretty much rolled through them with the exception of that last one. I have Akasarsper, maybe. 1 0, Gerber uh, got the goal there. Ronnie Evers has been on fire. Five goals against uh, Zwoll for us, uh, a brace uh, against Gink. And uh, goals in uh, three goals. You know, he scored in every match. I think he is going to be huge for us this year. I hope. Jumping into the competition, we're supposed to finish in the top half. Uh, season preview does have us in the top half in eighth at 50 to one. So we're within striking distance of getting back into Europe this year. And naturally, of course, we've overachieved. So Hopefully, we've added a couple of players that can help us get to that level. All right, well, let's get into the Super Cup today. I think I'm going to go with the 4-2-4. It's not as... This is the one that, that we scored with Leicester in the championship in the other, the other save. We scored a plus 125 goal differential with this tactic. Um... But that was when we were projected to be the best team in, in the championship. Uh, really struggled with it in both saves uh, as a lower tier team. So not sure how that's going to work out. All right, we do have a few fitness concerns, but we're going to go with uh, Kaiser in goal, Grizel and Dimitrovic at the uh, wingback positions, Gerber and Kurdov in the middle of the back line, Javich and Momsilovich in the central mid, Sun Hu Yang, Wu Yang and Resnick on the wings, Ebers and Kernjik up top. I've been getting a lot of offers for both Kernjik and Resnick, but they're all right around value. Neither player has really batted an eye as far as wanting to go out, uh, so we aren't going to really look at that. And you can see, taking a look down here, Vicario not making the bench. And then a couple of other guys. Foldy's not making it, but I think he's a fitness issue. Fournier is a fitness issue. Uh, Abanda, also fitness right now, just not at full health. Uh, so a lot of those guys couldn't make it anyway. And you can see Vicario, he's just coming back from international. So he'd probably be, he would probably be on the bench, but there's evidently a few teams that are sniffing around for him. He's not showing as wanted right now. But there was some interest, so we may be getting rid of Vicario as well. We'll see. He pulls number 21 out of the dirty clothes hamper. Or the bin, or whatever we're calling it. And we are off. So we should probably lose this. I mean, Heronveen was the Arita VC winner this past season. They are one of the top clubs. You know, we're the outside challenger. Uh, but we're playing well. We are in the green. An interesting, uh, interesting highlight so far. Not a whole lot happening on it. Oh, there we go. Now they break through to midfield. And there's the outlet pass. Now I'm concerned. Sun, uh, Sun Wu Yang is out there. So he's trying to get in on some highlight action. There's Mom Silovich. Oh, good ball through to Jose. 
squared in and it's off the bar and cleared away we got lucky there wow looks like dimitrovic let him actually take a run away and kaiser should have come out to get that but daniel smith puts the cross into the net looks like gerber was the one beat on that and we are in a one nil hole We come right back with a kickoff highlight. All right, let's demand more. All right, a couple of good one-touch passes. There's Resnick up the wing. Crossed back. Momsilovich loses it. Grizel takes a pop at it. Oh, and Fritz Grizel on his debut. I think that's a debut. Yep, goal on his debut. He's been, uh, last season, I remember, he was training very, very well. Uh, but he's one of our young kids and uh, definitely has the look of somebody that could do some good things for us. And he shows a really strong finish there. In fact, let's take a look at him because I don't think you guys know him. Uh, but he can play on the left. He is a center back by trade, six foot one. Not great at crossing, but uh, you know, I mean, he's got av you know that average, you know, just below average. But at least it's white, not gray, right? And uh, very pace. You know, he's got very good pace. Not the quickest off the mark, but he's got good top end speed, determination, work rate. Ta you know, he can play defense out there. So. He's got some possibility, and he looked good on that shot. I was very happy with that. Momsilovich into the box, headed clear. Jazvich runs it down and gets to the ball. A good ball into Evers, and he scores it. His first goal for the club on his debut. Now, of course, he's got a million goals already in preseason. Sorry about that. They're getting ready for Easter morning. That's okay. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, Evers, I tell you what, I think Evers is going to be so huge for us. Looks like they're going to show a replay there for possible offsides, but there is no call there. And we have taken a 2-1 lead, and it looks like we will get into the locker room at halftime nursing that one goal advantage. Very, very good. Seven goals, uh, seven shots, two on target. Pretty happy with that. Happy with the performance. Just taking a quick look down here at uh, fitness and whatnot. But we do got a few guys getting tired. Dimitrovic is up to us bouncing between a seven and a six nine. All right, now he just went red. Now, do I have anybody that can even play there? That's my concern. I don't think I do. I'm still very, very thin at that position. Tell you what, I'm gonna put profit in back there. I'm gonna drop I'm gonna move profit up top and move uh Wu Yang back to the inverted wing back position. It, that's that is an attacking spot. I think he can play there. And then um do I who else do I want to bring off? Kernjik is not playing good today. Let's bring Muller on for him and see what happens there. All right, an inslinger. Ebers is on it. He's got a one on one breakaway. A lot of people closing down. Now he's all by himself against four defenders. Still does a great job to get into the box and get a shot off. Uh, let's demand more again. All right, Gerber. That was a bad ball up through the middle. A little aggressive. Oh, wide open, and Wu Yang way out of position. And Wu Yang called for the foul. It's going to be a penalty. And that's what I get for having somebody out of position. No penalty. Hoof. A big sigh of relief from the DeGroff shop fans in attendance. 
Head it out. Oh, come on, boys. Mark him up. Oh, good block. Jazvich is there. He just chips it out towards midfield. And that one goes wide of the mark. I am tempted. I'm going to go to the 3-4-3. Three, three. All right, Gerber, Grizel. Grizel can play center back, but I want Gerber in the cover spot. Profit, Resnick, those guys are all good. I can drop, actually, let's bring Jazvich up here. And where can Profit play? You know, Profit could be a striker. I wonder why he couldn't play in the central mid. But let's, um, hold on, hold that thought. Profit's on the left. He's on the left. He's right-footed. All right, let's bring Resnick off for Nagy, really? Zoltan. Oh, yeah, that's our that's our 20-year-old uh, Hungarian. He's actually pretty good-looking. But, yeah, let's bring Nagy on for Resnick, and that's going to be three subs. We're going to go to balanced. I'm a little nervous about this. All right, well... Oof, come on, boys. All right, there's Profit. I think, the, you know, by going to this, we've got guys in a little more tactical familiarity as far as playing positions that they're good at. Kurdov gets beaten. Gerber's on his man. Oh, he loses it. Oh, that's bad. Good block. Oh, great defense right there. And it looked like an offsides, possibly. I don't know if that was on them or on us. Oh, get off of there. Momsilovich into the box, near post, headed away. Wu Yang. Oh, they tried to do it. He tried to give it right back, and he, I don't even think he was looking. Come on, blow the whistle. Just blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. No, come on. In the 93rd minute. Oh, just seconds before stoppage time. Oh, my God. Oh, we're going to have penalty takers. All right. Oh, my God. Didn't expect penalties in the first match of the season. It's the new guy on his debut, Wu Yang, and he hits the post. Oh, my God. He sent the keeper the wrong way, and he hit the post. Krisnik puts one in for Heron Veen. I wonder if that, didn't that guy play for us? Gerver. Oh, that was calm as you like. Very good by Gerver. He just runs up, and I don't think Kaiser, he's like, wait, I wasn't even ready. <laughs> Mom Silovich. Oh, that was a good one. Equalizes it too, but we are going to need a stop here by Kaiser at some point. Or a miss. I'll take a miss. He just runs up. Same thing. They must have spotted something in Kaiser that he's not focused on the run-up. Kurdov. And he misses wide of the mark. Now we've got to save both of these just to stay alive. That probably lost it for us right there. I think it was Wu Yang that got us off to the bad start. I can't believe he hit the post. First shot for the club. Doink. <laughs> it's Smith, and it's in, and there's the defeat in the Super Cup. I was hoping to climb the podium. Oh, that's harsh. It's kind of gutting to watch the other team uh, lift the trophy, isn't it? Yeah, let's just go to the post-match. I don't need to see that. 
I don't need to see the fireworks. I'm going to point the finger. Well, you know what? Let's tell them they gave a good effort. Because they did. All right, so a couple of debuts, scoring goals. That's good. I am pretty happy with that. Oh, I do want to run over to uh, Heronveen and look at their squad here. Boy, they got a small squad. Gee whiz. No, that's not the guy that played for us. They paid $15 million player. Wow. Wow. Grizel on his debut. That was nice. Well, would have been nice to have won some more silverware, but, you know, it's not to be. Jumping in, just letting you look at finances right now. We still have $10.7 million. Uh, we have about 600000 left in wage bill, but I don't really want to go any higher than we are now because I think we're already in line to lose money for the season, much like last year. And we're gonna have to actually do well and get some prize money. Let's look at dynamics real quick. So Vicario wants to leave due to interest. I haven't promised him anything. Gerver wants to move to a bigger club and I have offered him out. Uh, I believe he's transfer listed, yeah? See, I thought he told me he was okay to stay here. Currently, on, so he's still unhappy at the club. He does have the release clause, and I did, so let's see, transfer status. I've got him, oh, he is transfer listed by request, and I guess he's not showing up. But I've got him listed for $71 million. Nobody has come in for him, so nothing I can do there. From the hierarchy standpoint, there is the breakdown. Vicario's still our team leader, but he is fickle. Uh, we do have quite a few influential players. And taking a look, 10 players with no opinion, including Vicario, which is probably reason enough to get rid of him now. And then a lot of new guys, new, new and young players. Uh, so we do have, uh, but a lot of guys in these highly influential that support us. Even the new player ever supports us, so that's good. If you were wondering about the staff, there we go. I've got room for one more coach. I think I've got a uh, uh, app, uh, job search thing out in the job center for applicants, but we have the best recruitment team, best physios, uh, and we're above average in everything. So I'd like to get one more coach in there and maybe see if that can help us out a little bit here. Uh, what else? What else can I show you guys? I showed you finance. There's our club vision, A- minus right now. Uh, they are working on improving the training facility, so that's good. That should be finished by the end of this calendar year, so uh, sometime in late November. Nothing to criticize. We're on course, and just a top half finish this year. So, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. If there's anything else in particular you guys would like to see just to kind of get caught up in the universe, because remember we are 2057 right now, uh, let me know in the comments, and I will try to show that to you. Uh, but anyway, hit that like button, subscribe, and we will see you guys next episode. Have a good one. Bye.